Stephen here with some very exciting news. Well, I should say very exciting for me. By popular demand, people are asking me for some Class A surfacing courses. Basically what I've been known for for a very long time is my Class A surfacing and skills and things of that nature. So I have finally gotten to putting together a Class A surfacing course. It's an introduction. Introduction into NURBS, introduction into splines, surfaces, pulling control points, modifying those surfaces using either the X-Form tool or attaching to splines and driving surfaces off of those splines, that type of thing. So cover lots of that type of stuff. Now, before I go on, if you would do me a favor, please, if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel for these types of updates as well as additional content. And if you would be so kind as to like the video and share it with people you think may get something out of this. Now, back to the release of my course. If we take a look at the screen, you're going to see a center console that looks very nice. This is one of the exercises that we go through how to design in this course. Actually, we go through this exercise twice. Center consoles are really good way to enter into the design space because albeit some of them are very simple and easy some of them have a little bit more contour and shape to them like this this is out of my bronco i went out took measurements images and reverse engineered this so it's pretty close to the original and then I made an STL, attached it to the course, so you get the data as well as the images. I go through a couple of different design processes, a couple of different exercises, and we'll get into that. I'll explain that a little bit more here in a bit. And you'll understand why I do the things that I do with the different colorations, the variants, and how I've gone about designing this with the types of controls and why. We also get into this seat back and lower this gets into some more we'll say complex shapes transitions as well as these corners and how to finish this off so this is an actual part this is something that I designed that i took morphed and changed a bit in order to be able to reuse it for one, but this is true data, something out there in the world that is being used and being produced as we speak. These are the methods that I used to initially design the part and we go from there. I clean things up a little bit in the context of I'm able to use some newer technology that's been introduced as well as methods that basically will say stand the test of time. Now, if we take a look at my campus, go like that, what you'll see here is all of my latest courses. We have the bundle, the bundle that for anybody that's bought up to this point, and I say thank you again, thank you, thank you for taking the bundle. The surfacing courses are going to be wrapped up into that bundle. It's already been added in. If I click on the bundle, and I come down and say view all, you'll notice it is there already. So anybody that has that bundle has access to the course at that price. Now, I have a limited amount of seats available at that price and all the courses that I am going to release following this point are also going to be included in that bundle. So you'll get it all. The next course I'm going to put together is analysis, how to analyze my surfaces as well as continuities a deep dive into all of that the first course i felt was necessary to get people in building cool shapes and having understanding how the tools work the next course kind of the logical progression is analysis how do we go through analyze the parts make sure what we're doing is good and then we get into a deeper look into how to analyze and compare our surface to the STLs. That's going to be in the analysis course, which again is the next course that's coming up. And then after that, I'll be getting into far more advanced shapes for interiors, things like inner door panels, as well as getting into exteriors. 
and those will be separate courses. So if there's something that you want to take specifically all by itself, you're welcome to, of course. And again, they will be part of this bundle. Once the seats of the bundle that I currently have set up sell out, the cost will go up significantly because I'm gonna be adding a lot of really good courses coming up. And I'm gonna be getting into sheet metal, a little body in white, various other things, advanced assemblies, and so on and so forth. So for now, all the courses go into this bundle at the current price of $999. And anything new that comes out here in the next several months, you will also get as well. Now, if we take a look at the course itself, again, the website's still being worked on. It's the least of my concerns, I suppose. It should be the first because it's, you know, my face, but it's not. So we have five chapters. 35 lessons. The first set of lessons are curbs and how we modify curbs with NURBS. And we use X form for splines, various alternate methods for spline symmetry, something that I devised before it was a little trickier, but it still works. And I use it to this day for certain types of control and various types of movements and cleaning up of our curves. NURBS surfaces, we get into how to build a NURB surface, XForm command for modifying those surfaces and how to stack your commands and get things to look a certain way, as well as go through additional lessons like Match Edge, which I do use, and more and more I'm using it because it's just a very powerful tool. There's a lot that I like to do with it. And then uh, some of the additional tools that are necessary. Eventually, we're going to get deep into refit when we get into reverse engineering. And then we get into the exercises. The exercises, again, these first two are the same part, but this is a very different approach than this one. And the exercises are roughly an hour to an hour and a half long. So you have roughly three hours of exercise time, not just learning how the tools work function and work, but we get deep into methods in the exercises and I explain how everything basically works and what my methods are, things that I've been doing for a very long time and why. So hopefully you decide to come in and join us for this journey. And again, I'll be getting into deep modeling techniques, things that I don't see being offered anywhere else that make your modeling a thousand times better how you organize a tree how you connect things and so on and so forth